In this video, we are going to review a brand new AI tool that could be a game changer for students and teachers worldwide. AI has been advancing rapidly, and with such advancements, anything could be possible. As a student, you can bid farewell to tedious hours of studying textbooks and lecture materials. Quino AI is a much-needed tool for students and could be the ultimate learning assistant. It analyzes learning materials, generates summaries, creates flashcards, and provides guides just like a personal tutor. Let's dive right in. Here we are on the Quino AI website. If you want to check it out, just click on the link below in the video description. It's completely free to access. To get started, simply click on the Try Quino button, sign up with your email, and you'll be redirected to your account dashboard. Once you're there, you'll see something like this. On the left sidebar, you'll find the library icon, the knowledge base section, settings, and the logout button. The library is where you can create study projects and upload documents under any of the projects you've created. Everything related to your projects will be displayed here. Let's get started by creating our first project. I'll choose a name for it and select a label color. If there's a deadline for this project, like studying for a specific test, exam, or presentation, I can add that too. Once I've set everything up, I'll simply click on Create Project. Now, let's explore what Quino AI can do with a text document. I'll select the project we just created and tap on Upload Document to choose a PDF file. In this case, I have a lecture note about an introductory topic in chemistry. After uploading the document, Quino AI will analyze it. I'll select the sections of the document that I want to focus on. Quino AI will help me navigate through those sections for reading and studying. On the left side, I can see the actual text, and on the right side, there's a notepad where I can take notes with the help of AI. All the notes I make will be automatically saved in the notepad on the right. Let me start by highlighting a section. When I do this, I'm presented with some actions. I can use bullet points to summarize, make use of the single paragraph summary tool, add the section to my notes or use the AI lookup feature to refine the summary. Personally, I find the summarization tools to be incredibly useful. Take a look at this summary generated from the document. It does a great job of analyzing and summarizing the section. The bullet point summary tool is also impressive in identifying key points and determining their appropriate length. Another handy feature is the assessment button. It allows me to add the section as a basic flashcard, a question card, a multiple choice card, or a binary option card. I'll delve into more detail about this later on. Using the AI lookup tool is also fascinating. After highlighting a portion of the document, I can click on the AI lookup and use it to further simplify the highlighted section. This includes providing additional information and adding more context to the explanation. If you compare these two sections, you'll notice that the AI did an impressive job. Despite this particular section being a technical concept requiring professional knowledge, it effectively organized the information. With just a little editing, this summary would score a solid 70 out of 100. This is a basic way to utilize Quino AI. All you have to do is upload your document, highlight a section, summarize it, or use the AI tool to gain more context about that specific section. Then, you can easily add the text to your notes. Now, what if you want to study an entire textbook? Well, the process remains the same on Quino AI. You can simply click on the Add New button to upload a new document into a project. The notes you've made under each project are stored in this way, allowing you to access them anytime, anywhere, on any device. Quino has another exciting feature that allows you to have interactive chats with your documents or textbooks. You can ask questions to the document, just like having a conversation with a regular person. The artificial intelligence technology scans not only the specific note you're referring to, but also the entire document to generate accurate answers. Take a look at this toggle switch in the corner. You can use it to turn the AI access to external sources on or off. When it's set to get answers from the document, Quino AI limits its search to the information within the document itself. However, if you switch it off, you can gather answers from the web or other related documents within your project. The history tool displays your past questions to the documents and timestamps of when you asked them. You can also include Quino's responses in your notes as fresh updates or add them to your flashcards to review sections you've already revised. Now, let's try working with a new document. This one is a complete textbook, and I'll add it to the current project. Once the upload is complete, Quino AI will analyze the entire document. After the analysis is done, I can open up the document and access the notes from the previous one since we're still in the same project. To organize my notes effectively, I'll create a new notepad specifically for this textbook. 
I can give it a name to easily identify which textbook it belongs to, and then start creating the notes. Just like before, I can navigate through the textbook, choose a section to study, highlight a portion, and utilize any of these five tools to summarize, look up information, or add the section to my notes. While using this software, I notice that the AI can process multiple paragraphs or even a few pages at once. As you can see, this entire page has been condensed into a few relevant bullet points. If I had to do this manually and take notes, it would have taken me a lot more time. With Quino's assistance, I can quickly skim through the section. If I feel like the AI missed something or it didn't quite grasp a concept correctly, I can easily add my own points or edit the notepad. As I demonstrated earlier, you can engage in a chat with your document by asking questions, and Quino generates relevant responses based on the content. Quino also provides a set of pages where you can find information related to your question. This saves you the hassle of manually searching through the entire document. Just click on the pages and jump right to it to see if it contains the information you need. I also observed that the chat feature in this software is highly efficient. Quino doesn't just string together phrases and sentences, it actually provides original answers based on the content of the documents. When it comes to creating flashcards, it's a breeze. You can automatically generate flashcards as you ask questions and receive AI-generated responses. Alternatively, you can manually add them by copying and pasting the questions along with their corresponding answers. This is how you build up your knowledge base within your projects. Simply copy and paste relevant text from your document and attach it to the corresponding part. To access the knowledge base and flashcards, head over to the library and select the respective item. There, you'll find all the materials you've created for that specific project. If you've created numerous flashcards, you can even test yourself through an evaluation session. Simply set the session length, card order, and the type of cards you want to use. Once you click continue, the cards will display the questions. You'll try to recall the answers, and when you're ready, click on the card to flip it over and reveal the correct answer. Depending on your performance, you can then click on either of these buttons below. If you feel you need more preparation on a particular card, choose the first button. If you're confident that you already know what's contained in that card, select the second button. At the end of the self-evaluation, you'll see a pie chart. This chart provides an overview of your level of preparedness based on your performance. It gives you a visual representation of how well you did. Now, let's talk about the pricing plan. The free plan provides you with 2,500 tokens and allows a maximum of 5 document uploads. If you're looking for more, there's the Pro plan, which is quite affordable at just $7 per month. With the Pro plan, you get 20,000 tokens and unlimited document uploads every month. To sum it up, Quino AI is truly a much-needed learning assistant for students and researchers of all levels. There are even more updates in the pipeline for Quino AI, and if you're subscribed to this channel, you'll be the first to know about them. Thank you for your time.